Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Sass, which is short for Shimmer and Shine Spoonie, which is my Instagram name. You can find me there at Shimmer and Shine underscore Spoonie. Um, I'm always doing lots of reviews. Um, I'm doing giveaways. I just did one giveaway, big giveaway, and I have a really big one coming up. So definitely you're gonna wanna get on board there and follow and, and get your friends to come because that one's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a huge 5K giveaway so we're gonna want to try to get me there as quick as possible um, it's gonna be an interactive give giveaway which is different than engagement based so this giveaway is gonna be um, I'm gonna have a lot of items which I've already got a box going set aside um, and I'm not even quite to 3k yet so that tells you anything so I'm already preparing and um, by interactive I mean that it's gonna be um, I don't know, I can't open a palette and talk at the same time, apparently. All right then. Um, but it's gonna be more, so I'll have the set items, and then I will, um, the main the main palette or palettes, I haven't decided if there'll be one or two, it'll depend on cost and whatever the winner chooses. So they'll have whatever hot item is on the market then, you know, whatever palette's out there that's really hot, whatever it is that they're really after. Um, they'll be able to choose from a grouping of palettes and I'll be ordering that one specifically for the winner. So they'll be able to choose that main palette, which means that they're going to get what they really want. And, um, and I will be adding to this continually as I work my way to 5k. So definitely get on board, help me get there. It's going to be a lot of fun. The rules are gonna be a lot different than a lot of rules you see on the Instagram giveaways. Um, I'm trying to make it as fun as possible and as personalized as possible. So there'll be lots of goodies in there. Um, that's gonna have to do it for my brows. I started on my brows before I started the video because I didn't wanna spend five minutes making you guys watch me do my brows. If you're curious about how I do my brows, you can watch my first video, and the very beginning of the video is all about how I stencil out my brows. Um, today is not a really good health day for me. I have a really bad headache. You can see it around my eyes. It almost looks like I have allergies, you know, like I look puffy and stuff, but it is what it is. I'm never gonna have a 100% day, so I might as well jump on, right? But I might have picked the worst possible day because the landscapers are out in the neighborhood doing all the stuff that they do, which means the dogs will probably bark. Um, but hey, I am a real person with a real life. I don't um, exist inside a padded studio wall where there's no outside sounds and no home life and um, dogs and, and noises. So you're gonna have interruptions and uh, the mail's gonna come, which means more interruptions and more barking dogs. So, all right, let's get started. Now that my brows are on, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't normally use a primer, which I also talked about in my first video. I only use a primer if I'm gonna do a full face. So because I'm gonna do a full face today, I am gonna use, I am gonna use a primer. Now I just need to figure out which one, which I should have had figured out already. Probably gonna go for my, I'm gonna use my Color FX um, Calming Primer. This one is not tinted. And my face is a little irritated right now because I've been doing a lot of um, reviews for skin and uh, gadgets which are amazing they're working amazing but I'm messing with my face probably three times a day so I won't be doing any more skincare reviews this week and give my skin time to chill out a little bit so I mean it's not bad it's just it's it's at that point I know I can tell that if I if I wash my face and do my stuff again today, <laughs> um, then I'm gonna dry it out or just make it worse. So I have all my blemishes all healed up. You can just see the little scars that are left. Um, I'm telling you, the skincare uh, regimen that I'm using is amazing, which I'm gonna do a video here either tomorrow or then probably the next day on Saturday where I'll just only talk about the skincare products that I use, how simple it is. I don't go crazy overboard um, 
because I'm a believer that the less you do to your skin, the better. So, which is why I'm feeling my face kind of saying, stop. So, all right, let's get going. Um, I've put my primer on and I'm gonna go ahead and just dig into my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of my favorite e.l.f. brushes, of course. I always use this e.l.f. brush for my base. I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Most of what I'm gonna do today is gonna be from, you know what, I don't even know how long this palette's been out or if you can even still buy it. The Too Faced Sexy, the return, Too Faced, the return of sexy. I have had this thing forever. I've hit pan on a few of them. <laughs> um, I honestly haven't even looked to see if I can, if I can replace it or not, but it has all the colors that I plan on using today except for the teal. I'm gonna do um, a smoky eye, a really heavy smoky eye full face with a little pop of teal and probably gold or silver, but I'm thinking gold today. I don't know why, because I'm usually more into silver, but all right, so what I'm doing is taking that really light color that's that's in this, any, it does, I don't even have to show it to you because any, um, color that sort of matches your skin tone that will work as a base. I don't use eyelid primer very rarely, very, very rarely. If I was going to put this look on and go out all night, which would be never, but if I was going to be gone all day, if I was going to be sweating, I would use a primer. But because I'm just here at home and just doing this for the sake of the video and photos, then I'm just not going to use a primer. So I'm just going to take a light color, and here comes the mail, which means the dog should bark any minute. I'm gonna use the mirror that's over here, so I might have packages today. See, I love you guys more than I love my packages today, and that never happens. I'm all about getting packages in the mail. When you stay home full time like I do with a disability, oh yeah. You're all about that snail mail. <laughs> Going back, taking it old school, you know, waiting for the mail truck to come down the street and bring me, bring me something lovely. I don't even care what it is as long as it's not bills. I get excited about, you know, I've had people send me one single mask and I get so excited about that. I've had, you know, cards, just a card. It makes me so happy, a letter. So, hey, if anybody ever wants a pen pal, hit me up because I'm all about that. Um, you'll even get a handwritten. I know, right? I'm a dork. I know. Very aware. So anyway, I'm just taking this light skin tone um, matte and just taking it all the way up to the brow to just create a sort of base. And then next, I'm going to go for, um, again, same palette. This is where things get scary. I'm gonna go into this color right there. So like a dark gray, sort of, not quite charcoal, but definitely darker than regular gray. And this is a shimmer. This is gonna look like a lot of makeup on my face. <laughs> All right. And I did not put a ton on the brush yet because I didn't want to overdo it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in a little deeper there now. Here we go, and we're off. So what I'm doing on this is I'm gonna go, I, I always start, hit it first at the crease just so that I don't go too high on accident because like I said before, I suffer with a lot of vertigo and so I, I play it safe. So I start low and then I will just work my way up with the brush. work my way up. I might go, you know, I'm going to go one shade darker. That's really dark for me. To be honest, I'm actually mixing two, the, the gray that I showed you and then like the, the darker, almost black, I'm mixing those two together. So as you can see, I'm taking it, it's above the crease in the corner. So I'm going to go a little higher. I have a hooded eye, so it's a little trickier for me to do. I have to um, sort of go quite a bit higher than a lot of people do. I'm very envious of people that don't have hooded eyes. I know I could have surgery for that, but you know, first of all, you kind of have to have money. And also, 
I'm not that vain. Not criticizing anybody that does it, if it's what you wanna do, but I've been under the knife enough times in my life for medical emergencies that I don't think I'm gonna be uh, going under the knife anytime soon for something like a hooded eye. <laughs> not, not on my radar right now. So, looks totally sloppy, it's okay. You guys are gonna learn watching my videos that I start out sloppy just to get the colors on there and then I go in and just blend everything out and get it all evened out. Okay, it's so funny for me to look at myself and see this much makeup because I'm a very, when I say natural girl, I'm not natural to the degree of I don't wear makeup. It's just that when I do, it's very neutral toned and even if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, it's still almost always going to be in neutral colors with maybe a pop of color somewhere on there, you know. So. Now I'm just going to pull that in a little bit, but I'm not going to cover my whole lid. I'm going to leave that middle spot. I am taking it into the corner, of course, to have that shape, right? Just let your brush follow that. I'm going right above where the crease is and just letting it follow that natural flow. My eyes got blurry. Telling you, I'm a problem child. Not perfect. One side's a little darker than the other. We're okay. We're all okay. If at any point I feel like we need to abort mission, I won't. I'll make you watch. <laughs> I'll make you watch me fix it. So right now I look like a raccoon, and that's okay. Just sort of pulling it all together now. All right, so now I'm gonna take a lighter, it's not gonna be gray, it's gonna be sort of a, I don't know what color to call this, it's kind of a chocolatey, bronzy color, but it still ends up coming out looking like a um, smoky. So let me get the right brush that I wanna use here. I'm gonna use a, one other one that's similar to that elf shape, just your basic eyeshadow brush. Okay. And this again, this is a shimmer. And I'm just gonna kind of start overlapping here. I'm gonna start covering the lid, the whole lid. Even though I'm still gonna go in with lighter colors there in the middle, I'm just kind of working on shaping this and blending it and this color goes on much smoother i'm not slamming too faced or anything because i i don't want to get any hate mail because i know people love too faced and i also love a lot of their stuff but i have to say though as far as blendability um they're not my favorite they have amazing colors amazing pigments i love their variety but when it comes to blending the darker colors, they're just not my favorite. Um, I feel like they could do better with their formulas as far as making it a little bit, I guess, creamier would be the right word for that. See, because of my hooded eye, I have to go in and pretend that I have a shape there that I don't. All right, so. Now I'm gonna take that same color that I just did on the lower lid there, that lighter sort of chocolatey shimmer. And I'm actually gonna go right over the top. And you can see I'm just pushing out, outward, extending that, that um, smoky charcoal color without fully blending at this point. We're just getting a transition and it's subtle. So you can see. I don't know how well that's showing up for you because I can't see. <laughs> it's a surprise for me too, guys. So I'm just sort of blending and pushing. 
It's still a dark color. I'm still gonna be going in and doing some work around the brow, but the idea here is to get rid of that black blotch, okay? I'm not worrying about this right here yet. Um, a lot of times I'll take a piece of tape if I want a perfect line, but I feel like on a really smoky eye, I don't want that hard line. And if I do, um, I can also achieve that with, um, with, excuse me, I'm disgusting. I can do that with um, liner. Okay, so next I'm gonna use that same brush that I used for my light colored base is going really fast you guys I'm trying not to take all the time in the world I'm going into the same palette my same Too Faced palette and I'm gonna go into that gold okay and I'm gonna hit the inner corner and sort of I'm kind of just patting it I'm not trying to make a hard line here That's why I didn't put a heavy cut, like a big, a heavy coat, like as heavy as the outside. Um, I'm gonna use, again, like I said, blendability for me on Too Faced. I don't know if it's my skin, but I'm gonna use the same shade, but if, just from a different palette right now. It's, it's starting to take there, there we go. It's getting there. There we go. Sometimes it takes a couple. So I go like this and I kind of go up like I'm gonna go through the crease, but then I stop and just blend it, pull it down. I'm gonna take this all the way to the lash line, but not all the way out. But I'm gonna put it on fairly heavy. You could get a better effect right here. Again, if I was gonna go and have this look on my face all day long, I would probably use a concealer and do like a full cut crease type look to really make these colors um, hold all day. But to be honest, this is only gonna be on my face long enough to do this video and take the pictures that are needed and then it's coming off because I don't feel well and I wanna go lay down without all of this all over my face. Again, I don't know how well this is showing up for you guys or what it even looks like, but it's just sort of pushing that lighter gold into that corner and a little bit up the crease there and blend it out. You guys that are professional makeup artists, if any of you are watching or probably having heart attacks because you're probably like, she's doing this in all the wrong order. Okay. First of all, I know I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't really watch um, professional tutorials. I really just do what, I'm a, I do like to paint. I'm an artist at na by heart, by nature I should say. Um, so I just do what feels intuitively the, like the right thing to do for whatever look I'm trying to go for because I have it in my mind from the start what I want the finished look to look like, right? So I just sort of go for it. Very similar to painting a picture, blending colors. Okay, so now I am going to take that gold that I was using and I'm just gonna do a little bit only, only in the, that crease area. It's not gonna show up much at all. Not bringing it down though, okay? Just only doing that crease area. And it's more for the shimmer effect than it is for the actual line. And this is bugging me because I can see where it's uneven, but I'm trying not to worry about it because I know I'm gonna be in here fussing with it and, and evening it out in the quickest and most effective way that I've learned or taught myself, I should say. Okay, now I'm gonna take another Actually, I'm not gonna use a brush for this. I'm going to use my finger because I find that um, when you're patting in that pop of color that you're really wanting that focus on, the finger works best. 
So now I just have to pick, and my dog's outside the door. I just have to pick the color that I really want to work with. All right, I'm gonna go with my Desert Oasis by um, BH Cosmetics. This palette is so gorgeous, you guys. It's very reflective, which kind of bugs me as far as for taking pictures, but the palette itself is gorgeous. I'm taking that blue right there. Not quite teal, but you know, close enough. I'm gonna use my finger, swipe it around there a couple of times. And I'm just gonna start patting that in there, which as you can see, when you use your finger, it really transfers a lot better. So when you're going like, especially if you're using, if you're using a glitter, this is just a shimmer, but if you're using a glitter palette, uh, you definitely wanna stick with your finger because you'll, you'll lose so much of it in the brush. Okay, so it's not gonna look blended at all. It almost looks like a hard line, like a stripe. That's okay, I'm gonna fix that too. Blend it all out. Really, really, really love this blue though. This Desert Oasis palette, BH Cosmetics, is really gorgeous. And it's actually kind of a full face. It's got your blushes, your bronzers, your shimmers, I mean your highlighters. It's got some mattes in there. It's got shimmers in there. It's really, really beautiful. Honestly, if, if you're somebody that doesn't want a ton of makeup, you could really do a lot with that one palette as far as, you know, not wanting to have eyeshadow palettes and highlighter palettes and face palettes and, you know, all that other stuff. You've really got everything in there to do a full face. Okay. So again, I'm not making it perfect as long as it covers the same um, part of the eye and the same, you know, overall distance of the eye. We're good. Okay. My towel. Where's my towel? There it is. Get that off my finger because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a color that's similar, similar to that sort of um, chocolatey bronze, but a shade lighter. It's kind of gold, it's kind of gold, but darker, because I was using this gold. So now I'm gonna go with this, which is more brown gold, okay? I'm gonna use this as my blend out. So I'm gonna take this and just lightly push those two colors together. And if you can see the difference on those eyes, hopefully. Push those two colors together. I'm going to stay away from running over that middle area and then just use it to kind of pull out here. Again, other eye, just enough to kind of pull that gold and blue together to get rid of that hard line that I created with my finger. And I have all this fallout. Well, actually, I don't really have a lot. I have some gold, but that's okay. I look a hot mess right now. And now I'm gonna go over that crease again, blending it with that nice, that nice shimmer. So you're gonna have like, um, almost like a duochrome effect when you have the gold, the lighter gold underneath, and then this little darker shade of brownish gold, I guess it's kind of more copper, um, lightly over the top of the gold to soften it a little bit. But you wanna leave it pretty bright gold in the actual corner. Okay, I know, right? When I say okay and you guys are like, She's done? No, I'm not done. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that. Where did it go? I wanna use the right brush because I don't wanna ruin, get a dark, there it is. And what I use with the dark colors, I am going to go, what I'm gonna do here is mix two colors together. So I'm going for this one here, that sort of charcoal, and then that chocolate shimmer and I'm just gonna mix them together to go underneath my eye.
which is when I'm really going to start looking like a raccoon. Blending out into the corner there. Nothing perfect. I like for a smoky eye, I always feel like the smoky eye is not supposed to have this perfect hard line underneath. It should sort of smudge out, if that makes any sense. It should kind of hit the lash line the darkest and then sort of fade out. At least that's how I perceive a smoky eye. Just gonna keep sort of going over that until I feel that it's heavy enough, which I'm sure it appears that it is, but gotta remember I'm still gonna go in with my foundation and I'm definitely going down a lot further than I ever would with normal makeup. I'm gonna close my eye. I don't know if you guys can see that effect where it rolls from gold to blue into that sort of bronzy and I just sort of try to pull that in together so it makes a little bit of a neater, a neater line. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost to the point of fine tuning. I'm putting on liner. If you've watched my other videos and you know I don't normally wear um, a hard liner, I usually just use eyeshadow and fake it, but that doesn't work very well. I mean, it does work. It does work for a smoky eye, and I still will end up blending out my my eye or my eyeliner with the shadow. But I'm pretty sure I've got that around the same distance. Okay, maybe, maybe okay, maybe not. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here where I close my eye and just kind of create a stopping point for, for the upper lid. Which I'll also fix up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with kind of a fluffy brush, a fluffy eyeshadow brush, sort of a more of a, a longer, and I'm gonna take that lovely, um, I'm gonna go for that sort of chocolate, chocolate gold look again. And just sort of blend this out a little bit better. It may not show up in there. Hopefully it does. It's not anything drastic. It's just enough to really pull the colors together. And now I'm going to go in with the brush that I used to put in the, the base, that really light colored base. And I'm going to go in with doo -doo 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 -doo, a nice light, here we go, a nice I would normally go matte, like a nude color, but I do want this to pop, so I'm gonna take this right on my brow line. Bam. <laughs> right on that brow line. And first I make the line, and then I start pulling it downward. I know I have some very interesting ways of blending, don't I? Just works best for me this way.